I want to make a quick and dirty guide on how to progress in DFO. I've been getting this question a lot and to be honest, I don't even know where to start. DFO is frankly a convoluted game where there are many systems all intertwined to make you stronger. There's systems like leveling, skill builds, enchants, talisman slash runes. We got your insignias, avatars, emblems, your gear matters, title, aura, pets. There are many systems and all of them add up. I'm not the most knowledgeable person when it comes to this topic as I'm a casual DFO player nowadays, but I'm gonna do my best. If you guys have anything to add, comment it below, share the resources and help the community out. I wanna make a shout out to all the DFO streamers out there and all the amazing content creators. I'll be piggybacking off of all their hard work in this video, so make sure to let them know if their guides or resources helped you out. So to begin, the first thing to progress in DFO is to get to max level. This normally takes about a week or a few days. Follow your epic quest and that should pretty much handle the rest. At certain breakpoints, at level 50, 75, and 100, you can awaken your class. This is usually highlighted for you in your quest book, so just keep that in the back of your mind as you're leveling. Uh, note that DFO often has many leveling events where they give you clearance tickets on your awakening and sometimes they just straight up boost you to max level. Like right now, the 8th anniversary event's going on, which is honestly a great time to, you know, play the game again. So now that you're max level, the game opens up. There are many different systems to do. But what I personally focus on in the current 110 cap is to do your dailies first. Then use the remaining FP to do other things. Since we're on the daily topic, make sure to reroll the third mission of your daily. It's usually a reward that gives one box. Reroll it so the mission gives two boxes. That's, that's just a, a little tip for you guys. Okay, dailies are done. What are the other things to focus on? I would personally prioritize getting your epic gear. I'll link some resources down below of great content creators making epic gear build templates. Spend some time going through the templates and choose an epic gear set you want to go. I would recommend Archon for the majority, unless you're a class that uses HP for their skills. For those classes, a uh, sleep build could be good or even the nature proc set if you prefer more solo content. I don't want to elaborate on this too much because frankly, I'm not the best to teach this. And there are other content creators out there more well versed than me and already created great guides that are already out there. I want to promote their hard work rather than trying to, you know, reinvent the wheel. Also, by all means, if you have a resource that you want to share, link it below. I don't mind. I encourage it. Let's help the community out. I would also make good usage of the in-game guide panel to set your goal equipment. I was constantly referring back to this when I first came back to DFO. It is a great in-game system that helps you understand what is out there and helps you keep track of what you need. It even highlights your goal item if it drops for you in dungeon. Okay, so you have a good general template of what gear to aim for. Now let's get that gear. In the equipment guide panel, once you've entered the gear you want, It'll start showing you dungeons you should be farming for the gear you've entered. This is the normal gameplay loop of the cap. You grind the dungeons for the gear you want until you have all the pieces you need. Note that there are epic selection boxes to help you complete your gear sets. You can get them from your weekly missions, you can buy them from NPCs for ominous crystals, you get them from events and there are many more other ways of getting them. It shouldn't take you too long to get the base pieces for your build. At this point, I would enchant my gear by using the beads you could get from the dungeon NPCs, four golden barrels, or you could use the leaf coins from Elvenmere. Enchanting prior to your core pieces, I don't really do because you get gear pretty fast in this cap. And if you're enchanting before you get your main pieces, you're kind of wasting resources, in my opinion. Now, the next step is to slowly start increasing your gear option level, thus increasing your fame. The fame grind begins at this point, but you should be at a decent fame already if you have all your base epics for your build. During this time, and even after, I would recommend you constantly refer to the equipment guide and all its various tabs. Here is where I would start doing special content such as getting your talisman slash runes, 
and insignia slash gems. Getting your buff enchantments, start grinding some advanced dungeons, maybe even level some alts to start your own gold farm. Full clearing canyon hills is the go to gold farming method currently, but I personally don't do that yet because there are more efficient content that gives you fame and a decent amount of gold. Just play the game at this point and make steady improvements to your character. Participate in events, this is going to be your main way of getting items that are normally cash shop items. Unless you break out the credit card and get a few packages, things like avatar, titles, pets, and auras, these items do make a difference, but I wouldn't stress over them too much. Just play the game normally, events come around that rewards them, and you can grind some gold by buying packages if you want to be more free to play. That's basically the end game loop. You increase your fame to go up in dungeon difficulty, you start doing advanced dungeons, constantly referring back to the equipment guide, it gives you a general guideline on what you should be doing at your current fame. You know, rinse and repeat. One last thing to note, DFO is a game that is better with alts. You use them to farm resources and share them across your account. I recommend everyone play a handful of alts, but that ultimately depends on the time you want to invest in DFO. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this helped some of you on how to progress in DFO. It's not a race, take it easy and one step at a time. DFO is a long term game, there's no point in racing to end game. This has been Chewy the Goon, welcome to my channel where I make ARPG content. Stick around if you guys want to see more, make sure to drop a like and a sub so you don't miss future content. It also helps me a ton with the algorithm stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one, bye bye for now.